Hey friends, welcome back. In this video, I will go over the details of Kubernetes service account. What is it? How is it working? And what are the related objects in a simple manner? Let's get started. When a user tries to access the Kubernetes resources, the user will go through an authentication and authorization process. What is authentication? The authentication check who we are and provide permission to log into the system. What is authorization? The authorization check whether the, we have the right permission to access the requested resources. As like user, the application or pod running inside the Kubernetes, Kubernetes cluster need, needs to access any Kubernetes or outside resources. The application or pod go through the similar process. The API server will check the authentication first and then authorize it. But how the application or pod get the credentials? That's where the service account comes into the picture. The service account acts as an authentication mechanism for the pod. When you create a namespace, a service account is getting created with the namespace. A service account is created even for the default namespace that is created as part of the Kubernetes installation. But how the service account get the authentication details? That's where the Kubernetes token comes into the rescue. A token holds the JWT authentication details and created as, as a secret and bound to the service account. On the version 1.24, you have to create the token separately. Now the service account got the authentication details to access the cluster resources. Is that enough? No. The resource needs to authorize as well. What is the proce process for port to get permission to access the Kubernetes resources? That's where the role or cluster role comes into the picture. The role or cluster role represents a set of permission to access the Kubernetes like get, watch, list, etc. In Kubernetes, this is called verbs. Now you have service account for authentication and role for authorization. Can the pod access the resources? No, the role needs to be tied with the service account. That's where the role binding comes into picture. The role binding grants permission assigned to the role to the service account. Same is applicable for users as well. Now, can the pod access the Kubernetes resources? Yes. Always remember this, the service account is created for authentication, the credentials are attached to the service account as a secret in the form of a token. The role or cluster role is for authorization, which is contains rules that represents a set of permissions. These roles are tied to the service account through role binding. That is how service account, role and role binding works together to get an authentication and authorization for your pod or services running inside. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this in future. Your support means a lot. Thank you so much.